Niagara Parks unveiled a new visitor experience at Journey Behind the Falls this week. A significant renovation has led to a revamped area that provides guests with a history of the falls that they can enjoy while they wait to descend to the viewing platforms below. You know, the queuing area was, was tired, it was tile, it was, it was just dated. And so to see what they've done, the work that they've done over the last couple months, um, you know, things like adding that blue light and then, of course, the storyboards, the artwork, the land acknowledgement when you first come in, um, I'm just blown away. Well, I think a key to uh, good exhibitions is being uh, uh, direct and concise in a way, right? Because you can't put uh, books on the wall, you can't put huge volumes of information but you want to edit to things that are really essential, uh, visually uh, stimulating, you know, and then uh, inspirational. You know, you can't cover everything, but what we wanted to do was put together uh, a timeline that, you know, for somebody who's uh, unfamiliar with the history, that it gives them a good sense of, you know, what were the major kind of markers and milestones in, in the destination. So obviously, you know, the uh, creation of Niagara Falls and the erosion, uh, the indigenous history, which dates back 13,000 years, which actually predates uh, the formation of Niagara Falls, as crazy as that is to say. And, uh, and then, you know, various markers from its development as a tourism destination. So what were the first kind of visual depictions of the falls? What was the first major hotel? And, and kind of giving people those, those markers along the way to kind of help guide their, their journey. One of the visual focal points of the display is the reproduction of a painting by indigenous artist, Oren Lyons. Yeah, there's a, uh, a particular uh, painting that ended up in the collection of the National Museum of the American Indian at the Smithsonian, a painting by Oren Lyons called uh, uh, Made of the Mist and the Thunder Beings, which was originally commissioned for the Native American Center for the Living Arts, the so-called Turtle Building in Niagara Falls, New York, in 1981. And so uh, with the permission of the artist uh, and, uh, and the Smithsonian, we we're able to replicate that high resolution G clay print on canvas and uh, return it to Niagara Falls uh, for this particular exhibition. It's absolutely stunning and an uh, iconic image that captures uh, in indigenous cultural uh, creativity and thought uh, here in Niagara. Journey Behind the Falls has long been the most popular attraction at Niagara Parks. For international guests especially, you know, it provides that iconic experience of standing at the base of the falls. Uh, you know, last year we opened the tunnel of the Niagara Parks Power Station. Um, you know, a, a different experience, both unique in their own way. This one, you're right at the base of the falls. Power Station, you, you know, you're at river level with a, a different kind of vantage point. But Journey Behind the Falls, I mean, that's, that is our, our, one of our signature experience, I would say, for, especially for, uh, you know, international guests. It's hoped that the improvements will be seen by many in the months ahead. 2019 was the banner year for, for everybody, for all the attractions in Niagara Falls. That, that's what everybody points to before the pandemic hit. And I think, you know, fingers crossed, we're looking at possibly surpassing that this year. I know we're hopeful that the American visitation, the U.S. visitors will be back to what it was at that time. We're still thinking the international visitors are, still need to, to return. That's going to be a little bit slower. So we're thinking this, this will be like 2019, if not, maybe even a little bit better, which will be remarkable. And we're really, really excited about it. In Niagara, you're watching The Source on your TV.